G'day everyone, welcome to the Oakville Mills. Today, we're going to be working on this. It doesn't look much, some of you may know what this is already, but this is one of those hidden surprises type rock that unless you look at them properly, you'll totally miss it and this could have just been left on a pile. So if it wasn't for the fact this was found with a fair bit more of it, it may have just been missed. And this is the stuff that you can find noodling around Andamooka. Uh, you just got to keep a very sharp eye out for any little flecks of colour and then chip away and see if you can find some more. But yeah, we'll just go through this type of uh, matrix, opal. And for what you see, there's actually a really nice surprise in here. So we'll have a closer look. So just a bit about this type of matrix, and I have shown this sort of stuff before. This is locally known as concrete matrix and marketed as a rainbow matrix. There's a more pleasing sound to it than concrete. But it gets the nickname concrete due to the look of it. It looks like it's been mixed up concrete with the stones and the cement and everything in amongst it with a bit of opal. You start seeing hints of a bit of green there. And that's something you wouldn't have seen before this stone got chipped. All you would have seen was what you can see from around the edges. And there's not much of a hint. But once chipped off the top part to have a better look in, started seeing some really Nice little bits of colour coming up. And so the test is, with this sort of stuff, it needs to be treated, but we'll give it a wet and you'll immediately notice the difference. Um, it's The rough, rough surface of this has diffused the light so badly, it's not got the glassy, even when broken, glassy sort of opal that'll still reflect because it looks like a polished surface. So this is totally diffused and to the point that it's barely showing the color. But let's take away the diffusion by adding some water to the surface of it. And then straight away, more color pops out. And then if we come around here and give this side a dunk, See a bars running through it. The colour coming out here as well. So under here is the colour bars. They're a bit mixed up in the surface, but they do turn into bars down here. Trying to get the right angle. See a bar runs all the way across here. And that's what we're going to reveal today. All the colour under here. So another reason I was doing this is a great idea for a video to go and dress my wheel down a bit from being a rough brand new wheel. This will certainly take off all the bumps and bits and pieces. There's a nice peachy red under there, but unfortunately that's going to go off the top. There might be some of it left. Mm. So anyway, we'll go and get this on the wheel. And we'll see more of what's under here. And see how good this gets. So just quickly, editing these videos, the volume is one of the last things I edit. And I dropped the ball last editing and didn't adjust all the uh, volumes properly. So with these new pads, they are very loud before they get running and get more of a softer sound because they're very hard and dimpled and it makes a very high pitched noise. So definitely need earwear for this. Um, either earplugs or earmuffs. But yeah, I'm gonna have to pay a bit more attention to the way I speak, I know. My apologies, <laughs> and um, 
yeah, I'll just have to speak louder and remember to turn the volume on the machine down. Well, I mean editing, because it does get pretty loud. Acknowledged, and we'll do better. So, a bit of light. Let's see what we can come out with. So I just want to remove all the top here to see more of what's under here. Again, this is a benefit of having a big flat lap wheel. You can do large pieces without having to rock and roll the stone all the time. I could facet the whole face, like flatten the whole face of this um, without any marks or deviations. Just a totally flat surface. It's a purple coming through. Red, oh, the gold, or the green. And I'm just rolling it up and over because of these little low points. Everything has to come down to meet that. Get rid of that bit of stone. Keep going. So the uh, bars form the same way in matrix as in glassy as far as the coloration and the red. The same logic applies to how the opal forms blue to red and therefore the value system. It's another reason I don't understand why even the nicest reds don't beat some of the weakest jellies that have to be used as doublet material type. So this does have a value. Some people think it's Oh, it's Matrix. I used to. Uh, it's not proper opal. Well, it's not fully opal. Proper opal. Um, it's just soaked into a host rock. So, after I look past the host rock side of things, it's it's as opal as opal can be, as far as a variety of opal. And, yeah. I do think it has its place. So what we're going to try and do is keep that as best we can try and get that out start working this side of the stone around here
let's go and have a better look at this. Okay. So you can see that faint bit of red, purples. A bit of greeny gold around the side here. There is a bar running down here. It looks to be another one down here. But they all get a bit squished up this end. Where the stone runs out. And back around this side. You can see the bar down through here. It does come all the way across here. It's got this one sitting on top of it, back around this side. So what we're gonna do is give this a quick treat. That'll bring out the bars a bit better and then for cutting purposes, when we slice it up to get some stones out of it, we can maximize the stone by seeing exactly what we're dealing with. Uh, red, orange, green. Nice little spot up. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get this in the solution and have a quick treat and you'll be surprised how this will look after. So yeah, first dry it out in the sun, get all the moisture out of it. Okay, there's plenty of time to dry out and I've uh, included a few of his friends for this treat. So we're gonna grab all these and we'll head in to the vacuum chamber. Okay, here we go. We've got our container that we're going to put in the vac chamber. We've got our opal matrix. And we're just going to put that straight in. We're going to keep it sitting flat as possible. That way the level doesn't have to be too high. Be high enough. And yeah, there's a couple of bits in here, if you may remember from a treat recently. That was a very quick treat, so I'm going to whack these in again and see, see if we can't make it look more beautiful. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so now we just pour this in here. I'll zoom in in a sec, but immediately when it goes wet, liquid sugar. And this is 50-50 sugar and water I'm pouring in. Zoom in and capture that, but you can sort of see the uh, colors already. Purples and reds, and orange and green. Oh, uh, wow. So, sorry about that. Now, we're going to come over here, place this var and hopefully the solution's cooled down enough that it won't fog up and we'll get to be able to see what's happening i keep trying to get this but every now and then yeah something one thing or another goes wrong either lighting or yeah let's centralize that and hoses are in the right position. Now let's just get the camera in there. Come around this way a bit, get rid of that reflection. Just swap one reflection for another though. Here we go. And here comes a bit of noise with the uh, pump. Going up. Fizzing already. Point oh six. Point oh eight. Yeah, sorry, eight point eight. Coming around to nearly all back for this pump. I have to bump things when I turn this off. Ah, oh, it's fogging up. We've lost visuals. 
Danke. Okay, so that's now done. I'll remove that. I'll try and get these stones in. With minimal fuss. So now we just turn the volume up to high. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so it's bubbling away here for quite some time. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Steam up the lens. Ah, uh, here we are. And uh, we swapped out the water. Got the acid in there. It's just warming up. These are out of the sugar. Kind of still warm. I'm loving this one. Is that a close look. Can't wait to see how it turns out in the second treat. How much more it got in there. Got a bit of vac seal on this one, vacuum chamber job. Than I did last time I did it. And this one you may remember from a treat a while ago. And I went to retreat it, but I think it was too big for the container I had. <laughs> Still got nice goodies under there. I just haven't taken it right down yet. Nice colour underneath, all the way through it. So we'll get a better idea of what's in that once that treats well. Yeah, so the acid's starting to warm up, so we're going to get these bits in. Now I'll start with the biggest bits first, and I'll slowly get them in. Don't want them splashing about. Now we're just going to let that sit and do its thing um, for a few hours. Let's see how it goes. Maybe a bit longer. Okay, so that's been on for a good couple of days. And I think it's about time to take out. So I'm going to let it cool down a bit. And then pour that jar into another jar. And retrieve the opal matrix. Okay, here's the bit where we want to retrieve our opal out of this jar. So we're going to tip all the uh, acid into this one and try and keep all the stones in this one. So it's going to be a very quick tip and then a continual pour. So I won't talk through this. Gloves. We'll stop all this from coming out. Immediately neutralizing this bicarb soda water. So, hands neutralized. Let's swing the camera around and watch this big bubble and fizz away again. So I'm just going to put the whole container in. Cut that. Not happy with that result. So everything's just gone back in with the second lot I've also got going on. And they're all gonna get a big treat together. I think I brushed it a bit too much. Sorry guys. So this will be an extended video. Well, it's gonna be a quick video, but <laughs> it's not happening. So this one, it's another one I'm sort of not happy with the results of. It's, it's nice. I wanna see it from the top. So we're gonna cut this one now. 
and then chuck it back in the pot for the retreat. Give us a better look at that colour. Alright, so I'm pretty certain this is the stuff I've cut an oval of and set in a ring a few videos back. But we'll give us another go. See if we can't get the same results. So we'll just take the top off first and just expose the whole top. Matrix potch cap. So I'm first we've got to go on this tip down because we're all sand in there. So I might slice this stone get a really nice over at the centre there. See if we can't get that out. If it stays, it stays, but put a bit of bar to play with it, it's got a bit shallow. Turn it up. We'll see how we go with that and get a little drop stick come back. Okay, so this will be a quick cut on top of everything else and get this done. This is going to be done right up to the 3000 grit. And yes, other than playing around and checking which way the colour faces, you can cut these right up to a polish, not cerium, and then treat them. So, and then you can give them another slight polish afterwards, it shouldn't hurt the surface too much. But yeah. Anyway, let's do this.
Okay, so we can now stick this in with the rest. So let's cook. There we go. Okay. No more bubbling going on. So we'll release the pressure back in. That's it. So now, you just pour this into here. Okay, so I've grabbed the uh, matrix out of the sugar solution. Just gonna let it drain a bit. Try it a little touch, just so there's not excess sugar wasting the acid. And we'll get it in the jar with the acid. That's the one I cut the other day. Expect really good results with that. Okay, time for the stones to get into the acid. Now, if I remember rightly what I put in last time, fill this pretty full. So I'm gonna split it between two jars this time and put some in one some in the other pour some of this into there we will start with the big ones okay so now we're going to get both jars in Hopefully not overflow the uh, water. One on that end. One down this end. Ooh. And it can sit like that. All right, so here's the moment. To get this out, this one's fuller. So I'm gonna tip the acid from here into there to get these out. And then use this to fill from here back into there to get those out. So it's a bit of shuffling around here for a sec. Let's see how we go. Okay, so we've had this all neutralized and it's just rinsing off in some fresh water. A few mixed results and one I'm really, really happy with. Actually, it's two I'm quite impressed with. One I'll be more impressed with um, after its next treat. I'm gonna do those two last. So the stone we started off with, I will start with first. I'm pretty sure it's this one. And so 
I'm pleased enough with the results. I think they could have been a bit better. Still a bit salt and peppery. But we can still definitely see the bars that are in there now. The colour on top. It's a gorgeous red. So I have to, or whoever ends up with this, slice through here. Try and get that bit off the top and then go for the bar underneath. All this goldy green. Comes out here as well, around here. Sitting under that red one. But just to salvage that one, and you might even get more out of it. So that's not something that was visible at all from when we first started with this piece either. So it's um, definitely gone through a change and revealed quite a nice little surprise really. May not be the best as far as going black, but that's okay, we've got the color to pop out and that's the main thing. My camera light's gone, so we're relying on a lamp here. So this really looks a lot more electric in person. Nice flash right there. Let's see if I can get that to light up. All right, come on, it's trying. Almost. There we go. Yeah, nice little flash in there. So anyway, um, here was the other piece from quite a few treats ago. This one's been about three treats now. I think it's about as good as it's going to get. But still got some really nice colour in there. So I'm going to get some nice little stones out of that matching. Red and blues, reds and purples. It's a nice little combination. So let's have a look at some of these other stones. I'll save those two for last. And I've added some obviously since this started. There's quite a few more in here than we started with. Um, that was a little off cut bit. Didn't really come to much. Let's get some nice blues and greens. I'm gonna have to do this again when my camera cools down. See if I can't get a better shot of it. multiple slices out of one piece but I did cut across the grain on it on, on one of the bits the rest are through this way I just thought yeah keep one this way up nice little paperweight or something <laughs> some really nice color in there again this looks better in person another end piece Got some nice colour down this, this patch here. We'll get a nice little stone in there. I may even try putting some uh, triplet tops on this. See what that does for it. Keep those bits separate. Oh right, yeah, this bit. There's a bit of colour. I'll go down a bit further, get those out. If it's worth it, but there'll be a nice little pendant as it is. Sorry, I'm upside down to the camera and I've just realised everything's probably upside down. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, yeah, just drill a hole through that. I'll glaze it with some liquid glass or Starbond or Got another one here. Pro type casting resin. 
and we'll see which one we'll do next. I did the uh, star bond already and I've done the liquid glass, so I might give the other one a go in a future video with these bits, or some of these bits. And we looked at that bit already. So here's one of the bits. It still didn't impress me too much as far as how I know it should treat, but it's still a nice treat. I know it will get a lot better than that once done. And I have proof. <laughs> Wait for it. Um, here's another end cut. I think I'll shape that one up with a flat base. And that can sort of sit as a ornament. Displaying a bit of opal, a bit of a rough edge. Nice little specimen piece. So, let's go through a few of these bits. These are all not matching as such, but they're all sliced out of the pretty much the one rock. Yeah, and the colour came out really nice. Yeah, this camera's light's not in the right angle. Kick up all the colour. Some pinks and stuff in that. A whole handful of this sort of stuff. Some bits have some really nice patches in them. They're probably thick enough for a second slice. So this would be rough. Are we selling this as is? I can show you what it's capable of. A couple of bits are made into some pendants shapes. <laughs> But most of it's getting out that same rock. Mm. The best is yet to come. I'm just going to quickly go through these way. Oh, there's a piece from another treat. So, now, one of the pieces I was really, really impressed with, but we'll need a retreat because part of it didn't treat well. I think it was because it was resting on something that might have stopped part of the treatment in that area. But that stone I cut just before the second treat. has come out fantastic. Except for that spot right there. So that's turned out really nice. And the second one came out even better. I'll show you this one quickly before we started. Uh, and that was the first, before, before it was treated and the first treatment. The second treatment, I didn't bother putting it in for the third. I didn't think it needed it. It's still going to be cut. But, oh, wow. This has just come out so amazing. every color in there and it's so dark it's actually a bit darker than what it's showing here hang on there we go so that's a true representation of it it's very black which is made for a very good effect Color in 
here is amazing. <laughs> One of my favorite, new, new favorite pieces here. But I will be taking a slice off the top to get the stain here out. That is gorgeous. Be another little stone down here somewhere and maybe another one underneath it. But yeah, I'm really happy with that result there. I'll get some better shots of this before I finish this uh, video. I'll add them on here at the end. I'm in the middle of, uh, this, this video has gone on a fair bit. I'm doing the, uh, the rings at the moment. That video will be coming out next <laughs> uh, for inlay i'll show you the whole process but wow that is some amazing results this will be getting another treatment and i'm sure it will go a lot darker than that again uh, according to one i already had cut i'm glad i took the bar down a bit past the green layer into that multicolor red layer underneath it's even got that kind of that color on color effect somehow but it's not translucent so very optically elusive so yeah anyway i'll end this video here and well this part of it stick around i'll put the extra footage on for the for some low light and that but yeah hope you enjoyed cheers <laughs>